since 1991. Birds and people are living together in seemingly perfect harmony. Until one day, a young man catches fire. This is Phoenix. Morning, good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to Martin Lucas Investor. It's great to have you here once again. How is everybody doing? Fantastic to have you here on the big show, the best channel on YouTube TV. <laughs> it's great to have everybody with me once again. It is a special here this afternoon. We are talking cannabis and the gold rush. What do you do with the gold rush? Are you in? Are you out? We have a live poll. We have you to vote on that. We also have uh, three stocks to compare. Which is the best uh, stock, the, the best cannabis stock to buy. We're going to give you those uh, those charts and information. Plus, we've also got the latest news on why all this is happening. What is going on? Well, let's get ready. We got a good idea. Well, it has uh, two things to do. Uh, the first thing, it has a lot 
to do with this. Does anyone know what this is? And not everyone in America probably recognizes that uh, that flag right there. But of course, we're talking. Uh, there's, a, there's several, lots of, uh, lots of. Um, cannabis stocks, but we are talking Kronos, SNDL, Tilray Brands, Aurora. These are the main ones that we want to talk about. But Kamala Harris, the US government uh, relaxing potentially on legislation around the corner. It has started a bit of a gold rush, but what kicked it all off was Germany. That's the flag of Germany. That's what kicked it all off. Anyway, very, very exciting stuff. The studio is very green. I'm wearing a gold jacket because... Hey, you're making money today. Now, just full disclosure, I'm not. I'm not making anything at all. <laughs> I'm glad I'm glad that you are, but I'm not. And that's not a problem. That's out of choice uh, because I want to be the most honest t TV channel on YouTube TV, not pumping, not dumping the stock. I only own the SNP. This is my full balance. As you can see here, this is all the money I have in the world, $75,000. And if we scroll down, you will see there's nothing else other than the S&P 500. Jonathan, thank you for your subscription. You will see there, there is 99, sorry, uh, where is it there? 99.98. It's 100%. It's just I've won a couple of shares on uh, on Apple, or at least I've won a couple of dollars worth of Apple. Uh, you can see on my uh, Roth IRA, if you look there, it's, it shows the S&P is 100% of my account. Okay, so full disclosure, I don't uh, don't stand to benefit from this video today, pumping the stock or any or anything like it. Uh, this is my balance. I'm here for my members. We are in members only mode. Uh, we're always in members, <laughs> nearly always in members only mode because we're not about being the biggest, but we want to be the best YouTube channel in the world to serve our members. So what have we got coming up today? It's a special uh, cannabis stock uh, with lots of information coming up. So if you've not yet subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. And if you've never followed my channel before, uh, know that everything here is real, done live, 100% live. This studio is live. There's no green screens. Uh, this happens live. All the cameras are moving. I'm, I'm here on my own doing the whole thing. So Let's get straight into a special today. It is a cannabis special. Now, hopefully at the end of this video, you're going to know which cannabis stock to buy, if at all, and uh, what everybody else feels. And then maybe you can make some money on the gold rush. And it is a gold rush right now. When will it end? How will it end? Well, only history and time will tell. But uh, right now, we are uh, very excited to see all of this. We're looking at the charts and we're seeing a big, big swing in favor of, um, of cannabis. Now, this essentially is the new stock. Everyone often, well, people often ask me, they say, what is the next big thing? What are we looking out for? Well, we've had AI, we've had EVs, we've had space. Well, it, this is it. This is it. This is the moment when it potentially starts just ahead of the curve, slightly ahead of the curve. So let's have a quick look and uh, see what we're talking about here this afternoon. We've got lots to cover and I will reply. This will go out. This is live, but this will go out as its own video later on. And I will reply to every member's comments. Okay. I only reply to the members because I get thousands of messages and I reply to all of the members. Okay. We're looking at Tilray this afternoon. We're looking at SNDL, we're looking at Cronus, and we are looking at Aurora. Quite a few things here, four stocks, all up massive today. Tilray up 16.78. SNDL up 21.32, uh, Cronus is up 7.92, and Aurora is up 38% today. What stock should you buy, if any at all? Well, let's start with a poll. Start with a poll. So I'm going to go straight over now to my X account. Are you in the stock? Are you in uh, the cannabis sector? Are you in? And you've got, whether you're in uh, Tilray, Cronus, SNDL, ACB, doesn't matter. I want to know, are you in? Because this will trend on my X account. People will be talking about it. And uh, we all, all, all way already rank for Cronus and Tilray number one on uh, on Google and on YouTube at least. So a lot of people will see this. So let's start off by 
posting you the link for the poll. We'll come back to the poll throughout this special cannabis uh, presentation. There is the link in the chat. I'll post it three times so it pops up. Go and vote. Are you in? It's uh, yes, no, or undecided. No one is undecided. They're either in or they're out, and 84% of you are in. Let me jump into my Rumble audience. There's my Rumble audience, and give them the same poll. There you go. There's my Rumble audience, and and I'm also going to give it to my Facebook and my Twitchers. There it is as well, the gold rush. Okay, right. There you go. Now then, At the moment, this event is posted everywhere and you can take part in polls everywhere if you really want to get behind and see uh, cannabis rise today. And it really can because, as I said before, we've got a a, a wide reach now on this channel. We're we're gaining a thousand subscribers a week and it's still gaining speed, So, uh, which is very, very nice. So I'm going to give you now a few places you can go. First of all, we've got stock twits uh, if you want to make sure that uh, you are voting on stock twits. I've given you the X account. Here is the all links, the website. I'm also going to give you Rumble. We're live on Rumble as well. There here it is. There's the extra channel where we'll continue after the show. You can join the debate afterwards. We are live 12 hours a day, more than any other YouTube channel on planet Earth. There you go. So, so there are all the links so you can take part. As you can see, it's a live poll and people are voting in real time on it. Right. Now, not only are we going to look at the stocks, we're also going to look at this. Never, I've never done this before, but we are doing this today. Look, we've got the Tilray intrinsic value. We've got Sundial intrinsic value, SNDL, and we've got Cronus. The three here we're going to compare. Look at the balance sheets, the profit, the loss, the insolvency score, the solvency score, both inside trading. So if you have decided that you're going to be in uh, cannabis at the end of this uh, debate, then you can decide which one you should buy, if any at all. So there we go. Welcome to our special. I hope everyone's buckled up and uh, is ready to rock and roll. So uh, do subscribe, ring the bell. And one final thing we shall do. We shall do on Friday night, not tonight, tomorrow, but Friday night. We shall be live in my music channel and we will have a cannabis special. There it is in the channel. Uh, the link is in the channel. I'll give you the music, uh, the music channel where we are. Here is the music channel. And every Friday night, we have a live concert. This Friday night, this event here will be a special cannabis rock and roll special. I promise to make sure I'm drinking beer. I won't be smoking any marijuana live on the show. I don't smoke anyway. I think I'd fall off my piano stool if I tried. But uh, there you go. So first of all, then, Uh, let's decide whether we should be in the stock or not. You can see I've just turned red there just to spoil the party a little bit. Let me put that on the one year. We want to see green today. There we go. Right. Let's first of all decide whether you should be in the stock or not. Okay, here we go. Now, I will put all your uh, comments on the screen. We are members only. If you want to do a super chat, it will read your comments out. So if you want your comments as part of this uh, uh, cannabis special, it will read it out. Oh, thank you, Salty Biscuit. I'm a gummy girl, too radiant. I take one at bedtime and off I go. Ha ha, John. I don't buy cannabis stocks purely on principle. I am against drugs. Ramen uh, doesn't like it at all. Is he going to play Bob Marley and Snoop Dogg? Well, you never know your luck, right? Wearing the gold jacket because we're doing money today. Uh, do you have uh, Do you have a drink, says Mike? Jam in with Martin on Friday. Alcohol is a drug. Of course it is. Uh, coffee is a drug. Absolutely. A, uh, a mushroom you pull out of the ground is a drug. So there you go. Where does it all end? Uh, okay. Okay. Are you ready? All right. So first of all, should you even be in this stock? Well, what it's all about right now is uh, the success of this now will be the safe banking and uh, changing the uh, 
changing the classification of of uh, cannabis. At the moment, it's up there with heroin and all the rest of it. And that's the big problem. We've got to change the scheduling. Okay, if we can change the scheduling, not only will it be a, a completely different class, so you can't be prosecuted for it and all the rest of it, but uh, investors can get in and uh, institutions can start buying in the whole thing. At the moment, it's a much more difficult and sponsorship and advertisement, as you can imagine. So is that going to happen? Are we going to get full uh, legislation? Well, we believe so. When? Well, let's talk about it now. And why is the stock up so much? And should you be in it at all? at all anyway, right? Well, let's have a look. Here we go. Some uh, some recent news just out. I'm going to cover it all now uh, for you. This is, a, this is a cannabis special this afternoon. Is Aurora Cannabis set to take off after soaring 39% in the past months? And key points we're going to pull up here. Germany recently passed marijuana reform. Now, we need to be clear. We've always known that this was likely to happen. This isn't a surprise. We've always known. Why has the stock been down then? We've seen the stock up and down across all of the main cannabis sector. It was because of the delay in the United States the delay in the United States to get this passed and uh, doubt whether it would ever get passed. But of course, we are now coming up to an election and uh, a lot of people would like to see this. It's a vote winner. It's definitely a vote winner. Now, we have to remember the government don't care about you as an investor, but they do care about your vote. And there's a very good chance if, the, if this starts to pick up around the United States, someone's going to pick up on it and get it pushed through. So first of all, Germany recently passed a marriage Mar marijuana perform, uh, reform, which will make it easier for patients to obtain cannabis. Aurora is a key player in the German market, as is Tilray, and we'll come on to all that in a moment, and should benefit from these latest developments. Many of these companies are already placed in the same place. Uh, in a minute, I'm going to give you the chance to decide which is the best one to buy, if you decide to buy it, after all, and should benefit from the latest developments. The company's financials have been improving in recent years, but the business has only been generating modest gr growth of late, as have all of the, the, main, uh, the main cannabis stocks. This is no surprise at all. Okay, there's the first headlines. We got another one here. Aurora leads gains on Canadian cannabis stocks after pot trade group beefs up ranks with industry exec. Uh, let's have a look. Uh, drawing praise from Aurora SVP. Let's have a little look here. And what we, what have we got? Aurora Cannabis uh, led gains among Canadian cannabis stocks on Wednesday after the industry executive was named president of the Cannabis Council of Canada Trade Group. Paul McCartney. Sorry, I couldn't help it. Paul McCartney. When I find myself in time to trouble, Mother Mary comes to... Sorry, I can't help it. Um, Paul McCarthy, uh, who was formerly head of corporate policy and international imp implementation at Canopy Growth, was named president of the Cannabis Council on Tuesday. A lot of things that were scheduled to come out, and pardon the pun about scheduling, are now being pushed through and grabbing, uh, they're grabbing the media attention. Cannabis stocks light up as Florida adds weed to November ballots. Look at this. Canada's stocks light up as, no, as Florida adds weed to November ballots. Now, that's what I'm talking about, the election around the corner. Cannabis stocks are climb on the, uh, cannabis stocks are climb on the Florida approval. Cannabis stocks are up today on news from Florida. The state Supreme Court is allowing a marijuana amendment on the November ballot. This would, this would let uh, residents partake in recreational marijuana con, uh, consumption. As you can see, it's, it's starting to pick up now. Things are starting to happen. Now, once they start, of course, it's going to roll down a hill very, very quickly or roll up a hill, down a hill. I don't know which is a good way of putting it. But all of this is about to happen very, very quickly. And uh, I am going to give you in a few moments my price prediction of where I see some of these stocks going. Going, uh, as we also look at the best ones as well. Okay, if you just tuned us, tuned in, it's a cannabis special here this afternoon. Cannabis stocks are on the move Tuesday after the Florida Supreme Court approved the ability to add recreational marijuana use to the state's November ballot. 
This measure will have residents of Florida voting for and against a new amendment that would allow the use of the drug. The court uh, voted five to two in favor of allowing the amendment to be on the ballot. Here's what Justice Jamie Grosham said about the decision in a statement collected by CBS News. Not Martin Lucas Investor. That would be far more important. But never mind. It was on CBS. That will do for now. Our role is narrow. We assess only whether the amendment conforms to constitutionally mandate, mandated single subject requirement, whether the ballot summary meets the state statutory uh, standard for clarity, and whether the amendment is... Uh, 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 fa facially invalid, facially invalid under the federal constitution. In light of those uh, limited uh, considerations, we approve the uh, pr proposed uh, amendment for placement on the ballot. Very good. Uh, cannabis stocks up today. We're looking at all these right now. We're going to cover the numbers in a moment. Tilray. Tilray stock is rising 2.7 higher as of noon Tuesday. Canopy growth is up 15.8. SNDL is up 6.8. Aurora is up 20, uh, rocketing 23% higher on than Tuesday. Investors will find even more information, blah, 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 blah. Okay, okay. That will do for there for a moment. And uh, we've got one final bit. Uh, before I bring out that final bit of news, let's uh, get all the comments on the screen. Uh, let's have a look. Um, let's have a look. Uh, let's have a look. Have a look. Have we got any comments that we can uh, put on the screen here? I can't share all of these comments. Uh, we can imagine we're getting a little bits of uh, little bits of um, uh, colourful language in the in the chat. But anyway, uh, I can't find anything um, at the moment. I can't see anything that I can put on the screen. Everyone's having a bit of a backwards and forwards uh, conversation. Right. Okay. Last bit of news. Here we go. Uh, and then we're going to come on to the money side of things. And uh, we're going to see if we can make some money from our green studio today. Welcome to the Cannabis Studio. Used to call this the Virgin Galactic Studio. It is from time to time. Don't forget that. All right. Let's, uh, let's move on down now. So now we've got some more news. I want to share with you on the screen right now. Let's get into it. Here we go. And then we're going to come cover the numbers. Uh, we got some we got some nice comments about to appear on the screen. I'm I'm very excited about it. Okay, uh, <laughs> there we go. Look at this. Various themes and sectors garnered buzz and attention as the first quarter drew to a close. However, one industry that has been in in lull of a significant period re reignited the imagination and hope of. Oh, here it comes. Martin is on it. Congratulations, Tilray Investors. There you go. If you do a super chat, it will put it on the screen, read it out, share it with the world, and it will live forever. This will be an evergreen video, no pun intended, and I would expect this video to be a viral video by tomorrow. I'm pretty 100% about that. Yeah, I'm 100%. Over the previous month, several cannabis stocks have surged dramatically, igniting the sector as gains reached high double to even triple digits in some cases. Cannabis companies like uh, Canopy Growth, NASDAQ, Tilray and Aurora Cannabis have experienced notable upticks in volume and price, leaving investors at a potential crossroads. Is it time to exercise some caution and take risk after the swift and extreme move higher or should one dive straight Straight into the green gold rush. Let's examine each of the stocks mentioned above more closely and understand what drove their recent gains. And I am going to cover all of the major numbers in a minute as well. All right, the catalyst behind the breakout. So what catalyst was behind the extreme move in the sector that seemingly awoke several cannabis stocks from their lengthy lull period? Well, there were two separate catalysts, both carrying significant momentum. Vice, uh, first of all, First, Vice President Kamala Harris reported, uh, reportedly advocated for the legalization of marijuana during a, a closed-door meeting at the White House in mid-March. She also called for the U.S. Drug Enforcement Administration, DEA, to reschedule marijuana, citing its current classification as a Schedule One drug as absurd since joining the Biden ticket. These comments mark the first time that Harris signaled support for federal legalization, potentially influencing the the administration stands ahead of the presidential election. They're not going to let this pass. It is a vote 
winner. And I'm going to give you my price predictions in a couple of moments. Then, and arguably the most significant catalyst was when Germany passed a law to fully legalise marijuana effective April 1st, allowing possession, home growing and distribution among social clubs. This news could benefit investors in cannabis stocks like Tilray, Cronus, Canopy Growth, particularly when Germany moved towards the laws to standardise commercial production and retail sales of cannabis. Okay, are you ready? We're about to go into the numbers. Have you tapped the like button yet? Have you subscribed and rung the bell? We're going to tell you in a minute which is the best one to buy. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. No joke. All right. And that you will be smiling all the way to the bank, hopefully making uh, lots of money and will be very, very pleased when you do stack up your money. So are you ready? Okay, with further ado, let's cut the three main points and then we're going to come straight over to the uh, to, to which one you should choose whether any w- at all. First of all, Tilray. Tilray Pharmaceutical and Cannabis Company, established in 2013, is based in Canada and operates globally in regions like the United States, Europe, Canada, Australia, and Latin America. They specialize in the production and distribution of medical and recreational cannabis products. Tilray staged an impressive turnaround in the previous month, with the stock up almost 43%. Interestingly, insiders are purchased stock for the first time in recent years with insiders with insiders buying 182 uh, million 210 so 183,210 uh, dollars of the stock in the first quarter of the year based on three analyst ratings I will show you the insider trading in a few moments time very very good indeed all right um Tilray has a has a hold rating analyst consensus price target of 283 is forecasting a potential upside a potential upside of close to 15% for the cannabis company don't forget if you want to be in this event this is going to be a uh, viral video part of a very special Tilray spe- uh, of a, a cannabis special do a super chat it'll be here forever this is the day i'm announcing the beginning of the gold rush you might want to have your name on the screen in the chat this is your chance to do it okay what about canopy growth and we're going to give you these uh, stocks in a moment uh, canopy growth specializes in cultivating and distributing a wide range of cannabis products serving both medical and recreational users uh, from dried cannabis to oil, soft gels, uh, capsules, and edibles, Canopy Growth offers diverse options to meet customer needs. Canopy's uh, recent stock performance has been remarkable, with the stock soaring. Oh, hello, here it comes. Tilray Earnings, please, Martin. Tilray. Tilray Earnings has been booked by one of our members. Tilray Earnings is going to happen now. If one of my members gives me a super chat, Tilray Earnings will happen. All right, let's carry on. I'll put that down at the end of the show. Thank you very much indeed. Uh, Canopy's, uh, Canopy's recent stock performance has been remarkable with the stock soaring 162% last month. Its volume has also surged to incredible heights with the stock trading close to 200 million shares over the previous four trading sessions. However, analysts are bearish on the stock with a reduced rating and consensus price target predicting close to 44% downside. What about Aurora? Aurora and its subsidiaries produce, distribute and sell cannabis and cannabis derived products globally. They operate in three segments, uh, Canadian cannabis, European cannabis and plant propagation. Like the above two names, Aurora's shared garnered substantial attention over the previous month. Stocks surged by almost 40% during the last month. With its, with its volume rocketing higher, sentiment appears overwhelmingly bearish on the name with a significant short interest of 24.5, representing 3.8 million shares as of March 15th. Okay, the gold rush, the gold rush, the gold rush. Uh, I think that's it for those main stocks. Now it's the most important part. Now we look at the numbers. So are you ready? Have you tapped the like button? Have you subscribed? Uh, Are you in so far? Are you going to leave me a comment later on, which I can reply to? Members only. We are a members only channel because we're here to provide the most honest, real, live 
uh, uh, information in the world. That's my aim, to be the best YouTube channel and Rumble channel in the world. That's it. That's why we're members only. We're not about numbers. We're about quality, and quality will make us the best channel in the world. Right, without further ado, let's have a look at the numbers. Does all this stack up? So by now, you've decided whether you like whether you like the cannabis sector, whether you want to be in it or not. You know the news. You know the options. Uh, you know what's going on. Now then, let's go back. Before, just before we show you the numbers, which one to choose, uh, you're, we're going to show you the latest updated poll right now. It's running on X. If you've not yet voted uh, and you're watching this video later when, I, when it comes out on, as a premiere, I will put the link above and below in the description description. But for those watching live right now, there is the link for you to vote. We have 19 votes so far in the making of this video and 73%, 73% are in buying. No one, not one single person is undecided. It's a, it's a total yes or no so far. It's like you either love it or you're against cannabis and drugs, period, and you think the whole thing is wrong, you wouldn't touch it, and that's absolutely fine. There's nothing wrong with that at all. But 73.7% .7 are saying, yes, I am in, and uh, the poll is at 19 votes right now. I expect it to be over 100 by the time this video comes out, which will be in a couple of hours from now. All right, so without further ado, let's look at the numbers. Now, if you tap the like button, let me see how many people are watching me during this live event. Uh, let's see what's going on. Oh, we've got a good audience. Is it, uh, can everyone tap the like button so you can share it out? If you tap the like button, uh, we, we want to share this out to more people. We're just under 100 people watching now with just 24 likes. So you're very lazy this afternoon. Tap the like button once we, once we hit 100. This is going to be the best uh, cannabis review video ever this year. It's all being done, everything in one video for you with the best sound, the best presentation, the best facts, honest, unsponsored, completely done live, unedited as it is real. So please do uh, tap the like button. We've got 24 likes. If we get to 100, uh, we will start to get suggested on YouTube and it will get seen by more people. I'll leave that up to you to do. Right. But without further ado, what we're going to do now is look at the numbers. So by now you decided whether you like it or not, which one to buy. Right. Here are my top picks. My top picks are Tilray, uh, SNDL, and Cronus. These are my three. So Cronus is overvalued by 78%. It's overvalued by 78%. Too expensive. Uh, what about SNDL? SNDL is undervalued by 11%. These are on the base cases. Uh, Tilray is overvalued by 18%. 18%. Okay? So, so far, we are giving it to SNDL. That is undervalued at the moment when you compare to the, uh, when you look at the intrinsic value. All right, moving on down now. We're going to move down. We're not going to go through the last earnings. No point doing that. Uh, the revenue of Tilray, 700 700 million on its most recent range, up 8%. If we now go over to SNDL and we scroll down, 909 million down very slightly, 2%. So uh, we can look at its curve. We can look at its curve and compare that to uh, Tilray, about the same. Slightly more money has been made there. Revenue is slightly higher with SNDL. Now, that's now scroll down now and we'll look at um, Cron. 87 million, much, much smaller, much smaller, up 0.4, but perhaps a slighter steeper, uh, may, maybe a slight, uh, a slight increase on the curve. So, so far... You can see we gave um, we gave it the best rating so far was uh, was um, da, 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 let me just come back was SNDL. I'm doing this live, guys, on my own, so uh, you know, uh, and I'm running everything. So 
bear with me. Uh, I've never done three stocks at the same time, but there you go. Always challenge yourself. So, so far, SNDL. So I'm going to, I'm going to put SNDL to the top of the list for the moment. Uh, and, but looking at the, um, looking at the, uh, at the revenue, it wins on revenue too. Um, yes, far greater revenue. So SNDL still holding the stop, the top spot. SNDL is still holding the top spot. Okay, let's move on down now and look at the balance sheet of each company. The balance sheet, uh, SNDL, which is in top spot at the moment, has 1.5 billion in assets and 261. So how much cash does it have uh, out of its assets? It has... Uh, cash in the range of 13% in cash. That's very nice indeed. 13%. Now we'll go to Tilray. How much of it is 4.3 billion? Uh, much, much bigger uh, balance sheet. Uh, but 4.3 billion. And in cash, we have, uh, we have um, 6%. So even though we have a bigger market, we have a bigger balance sheet, more assets, we have slightly less percentage-wise of cash for Tilray. So, so far, even though the assets are greater, and whether you like the assets of all the uh, breweries or not is up to you. For me, it, this is all about cannabis. If I want to buy breweries, I can buy DraftKings. I can go anywhere else. I can buy Coca-Cola if, if I want drinks. I, I'm focusing on the best cannabis right now. So they hold uh, about six percent of cash. Let's go to um, let's go to uh, uh, Crone uh, Cronus, and uh, if we look at their their balance sheet, one billion, much much smaller, and they hold cat their cash value is. Uh, that's that is seventy five percent. They've got a much much bigger <coughs> percentage uh, of cash available as uh, for, for over over their balance sheet. So they don't have as many assets anywhere near what Tilray does, but it has much much greater percentage of. Um, of uh, cash. So at the moment, I'm going to leave it where we left it, which was SNDL in the lead, Tilray second, and uh, and Cronus in third. Let's look at the debt position. So we'll start with Cronus as we're on Cronus. Uh, do we have any long-term debt? Do we have any long-term debt? We don't have any long-term debt. We have a nice bit of cash and no long-term debt. So it's a smaller company, but every company will boom. Tilray will not be able, just because it's got the biggest uh, assets, uh, the biggest proportion of assets, it won't be able to serve the public if it goes, explodes. It'll, everybody will have an opportunity to make money on. Everybody will have an opportunity opportunity to grow here. They have no debt. So Cronus has no debt. That's very nice indeed. What about Tilray? Tilray, on the other hand, uh, has uh, long-term debt and it has long-term debt of 36, uh, 36, uh, I think that's million, uh, 30, sorry, 36%, which equates to uh, 348 million. A lot more debt. They've been buying all these breweries. If we're focusing on, uh, if we're focusing on uh, the cannabis sector, period, not all the drinks, then uh, then uh, th that's a lot of debt to be carrying. Okay, we know all that. Not good at all. Uh, if we look at uh, the leader at the moment, which is um, SNDL, if we go over to their liabilities, long term debt, one hundred thirty six million, which is fifty two which is 52 now, 52% of their liabilities is, is uh, in uh, long-term debt. So SNDL have just uh, come off the, uh, the crown a little bit. So I think at this stage, we've now got... Uh, Tilray just starting to come up a little bit. Um, but of course, don't forget uh, Cronus, who don't have any debt at all. So now Cronus is coming up uh, to uh, Tilray and catching up. I think we would still put CND... Um, I think would still put uh, SNDL as the leader, but uh, uh, the, the gap has narrowed uh, over Tilray and Cronus has caught up because of their debt position. We like that. All right. What about the, the stock itself? Well, before we come on to the, the stock sentiment, uh, we've got uh, S, we've got Cronus, 14% margins. 
Okay, that's their moat. 14% margins. Uh, Tilray has margins of 21%. Much, much better margins. Much, much better margins from 14% to 21%. Okay, that now puts um, uh, Tilray a little bit ahead of the game again now. What about SNDL? That was our favourite. 24%, 24%. It beats Tilray and it beats... Um, and it beats uh, Cronus. So uh, going ahead now is uh, SNDL again. So SNDL is now going ahead. Uh, SNDL is coming out as favourite at the moment. Right. What about the profitability score? Now, SNDL gives us a profitability score of 34%. If we look at Tilray, uh, 29%. No surprise, I've just done the margins. And Cronus, I'd expect to be lower, 23%. There you go, exactly as anticipated. So again, we've got SNDL on top. What about the solvency? Remember, Tilray in second place, but catching up with Cronus, uh, uh, S Cronus catching up, uh, Tilray, has a bit of debt, quite a bit of debt, as does Cronus. 63% though, uh, is the solvency score for SNDL. Let's look at Tilray right now, 55%. So it's gone down as you'd expect. And Cronus, 81%. That's because of the cash they hold. So that now brings up Cronus up there with, uh, S with, with Tilray. So again, we've talked about this before, just because you have a bucket full of cash and, and, and no debt, as they do, it can be good for you, but you've got to turn that into profit though. But right now though, uh, you know, anyone's going to do well when, when legalization gets passed. So consequently, anyone's going to be able to make money. Uh, and if you've got no debt and your balance sheet is much stronger, you can grow quicker. If you're labored down with debt, that will slow you down. So SNDL is now in the lead, again, pushing further ahead. And SNDL and Cronus, sorry, uh, Tilray and Cronus is about equal now. So we got equal second. That's where I will put this. Right, as we are on, uh, as we are on Cronus, let's stay right there. Uh, Wall Street uh, um, is giving it a 0% growth from here on the average, a 0%. We're not going to look at the others. We're going to focus on the average. We don't want to confuse anybody. On the average, a 0%. If we now go over to Tilray, we're giving it a 10% downside, 10% downside. Now we've got uh, Cronus just slightly ahead of Tilray now, slightly ahead of Tilray. So Tilray's just dropped into third place. Cronus is in second place now. Uh, and let's go on now to SNDL. SNDL has done it again. It's moved ahead now. 54% is the upside from SNDL. A clear winner so far with Tilray in second place. Cronus, and, sorry, uh, uh, S SNDL is first. Second is uh, Cronus and in third place is Tilray. Can you believe I'm doing all this at once, right? This is years of being the director of One Night in Vegas. Literally running everything in this studio. Light, sign, cat, sign sound camera screens, 40, 16 screens now, talking to you, seeing all the comments, monitoring all the outputs and doing all the calculations of three stocks at the same time. Are you impressed? You should be. You should be. Um, don't confuse that with arrogance. Con uh, make sure that you confuse it with passion and belief. There's a difference. People often say, oh, he's a bit arrogant, isn't he? No, it's a commitment and a belief in what I'm doing. Uh, there's, a very, there's a big difference. I don't expect anything from anyone. Never have. All right. Uh, just thought I'd throw that bit of personal stuff in there. Right. Uh, SNDL. Remember, now it's far ahead. It's It's got a 4%. It's hardly got any short interest at all. People like it. 4%. Uh, that's good. Not much short interest. What about Tilray? Tilray, Tilray, Tilray. 15%. 15% short interest. Now, remember, with volume, and we're going to get volume, you can end up having a short squeeze. So they're all going to get volume in time. Uh, those that are over 20, 25% are going to get a short squeeze. But you don't have to have a short interest to grow, you know. Uh, it just brings the stock price down. So Tilray's got a big short interest. Um, 
What about lastly, Cronus? It has uh, 2.83. So again, Cronus goes ahead and uh, we've definitely got a clear winner now, SNDL. Uh, and then we've got Cronus in second and Tilray in third. Okay, now then, uh, we're not going to cover that. It's finally, sentiment. Finally, sentiment. Sentiment on the stock. This is, uh, this is Cronus. Sentiment uh, over the last seven days, we've got uh, eight. 85%, eight, sorry, 83% all positive. Okay, what about Tilray? Uh, Tilray, if we scroll to the bottom and look at the, look at the sentiment, look at the sentiment, we've got uh, 90, we've got 73%, 73% sentiment. That is good. That's uh, nice. That brings Tilray up a little bit. Um, what about, uh, what about, um, uh, oh dear me! What about uh, what about SNDL? Eighty-five percent positive. So there we go. Never been done before. There is a review of all three stocks at the same time, giving you the news, running a poll, giving you the funky music. There it is. There has been a uh, a um, a uh, <laughs> a cannabis special. My brain's now going. Okay, now you need a cup of tea. Time to sit down with the biscuit. So that was a special uh, cannabis. Um, uh, presentation. We've now gone through the news where we see uh, what's potentially about to happen. But now I'm going to give you the price targets and the warnings. And this is very, very important. If you've got to the end of the video, and I hope you have, this is the most important part of this video. And I'm going to present it to you now. So... It's great. It's no doubt about it. We're going to get legislation. It's a bad matter of time. However... However, as good as all this news is, you've decided you like the cannabis sector, you've decided SNDL was the better buy for you than, than, uh, than uh, Tilray and Cronus, but you think SNDL is the one. Whatever you buy, they're all going to do well in time. But, uh, but we, as we know, Tilray ha is, is saddled with quite a bit of debt right now. That's the only downside to it. Uh, they're all going to do well. But a lot of people have lost a lot of money on these stocks. They've had a they've had quite a tumultuous run, and a lot of them are down heavily from where people first got in. There's going to be volatility, and the sort of people that buy these stocks, yes, good investors buy these stocks, but also gamblers, mullen owners, and so on. It's going to be a crazy time. Like the original gold rush was a crazy time. You want to be the one that sells the hammers and the buckets and the spades. Uh, like I believe I'm the guy who owns the casino. I don't play the casino. You want to be in charge of this and be aware of what is going to happen. There's going to be volatility. There's going to be short squeezes. There's going to be dumps. There's going to be people taking profit. You want the, you want, if you're buying this, you want to be aware of that. You want to buy the company with the least, in my opinion, short position. That would be SNDL. You want to be the you want to buy the one with the best balance sheet. That would be the one with the with SNDL. You want to buy the stock that has the least debt. That would be SNDL. Not diversified. Really focused on cannabis. You can buy drinks machines and everything else from everybody else. Coca Cola, Pepsi, whatever. That would be SNDL. And remember, I'm not sponsored by anyone. It makes no difference to me what you buy. But just be aware there will be some volatility. No doubt about it. Let's go back to our poll and see what people are saying. Perhaps we should do a poll as well later as a follow-up and see which stock people prefer. See if they agree with my analysis. They should agree with my analysis. It's based upon facts, not um, not uh, drama on YouTube or, uh, I mean, drama. Pretty dramatic, right? Studio is pretty dramatic, but it's not selling a narrative. It's just the facts and no one's sponsoring and, and inflating the figures. I'm just giving you the facts. This is the poll right now. We've had more votes, which is great. I said it would be 100 by the time this video comes out tonight in a few hours. 23 votes and 73.9% uh, of you are, yes, I'm in, I'm buying, I'm in, already in, or I'm buying in, whatever. Only 4.3% now are undecided which means effectively I've done a rubbish job. I've done my best to give you the best review you're ever going to see on YouTube TV. No one's going to do it like this. And what happens? 4% of you don't know what to do. So clearly I need to try harder, which I will. So in final 
Final thoughts. Is this stock right for you? Are you buying it? Okay, let me end the video and let me just uh, finish it like this. Right, click above my head for all the links. All the, If you want to use my alpha spread, all my members get a free version of this or and you get a lifetime discount if you want the premium version as well. Why wouldn't everyone have this? It's the best tool you need other than my channel, of course, our channel, the family, the most important thing, the 12-hour uh, stream, you need that. Click above there. Down below in the description, you'll also find all the links and the extra channel will, will appear here in a moment. Friday night, you want to join me for a special. We're doing a uh, cannabis rock and roll special. Bit of Bob Marley, bit of Snoop Dogg. Friday night on my music channel. You won't want, you won't want to miss that. But uh, I will be covering the Tilray earnings. It's just been asked for in the chat. I will be covering the earnings. And if anybody else would like me to cover the earnings of their favorite stock, including all the cannabis stocks, become a member and uh, super chat me and I will get up early in the morning or work late in the evening to do your favorite stock. That's it from me. I hope you enjoyed this cannabis special this evening. Above my head, down below, over here and over here. This was a cannabis special. Are you in? Are you out? Are you making money? Welcome to the Green Studio. And that's it for me. And now we're going to play out with a bit of funky music. Until next time, as always, thank you ever so much. And as always, take care of your money, yourselves, your crypto. Most importantly, take care of each other.